Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the No Code series. At the end of the last episode, we were deep into the App Engine Studio setup. So we had configured the application intake and pipelines guided setups. We did configure a group to enable us to have a App Engine admins uh, group, which System Admin is a member of. We do, in this particular episode, need to set up a particular citizen developer. So we need to have someone available for us to request an app idea. So we'll be doing that. We'll be discussing a little bit about the App Engine Management Center. A little bit of a shame on that front in that I cannot get this available on the PDI that I have access to. So I would have loved to have shown that as part of this process. Um, however, I think we can still continue with the intake process, but not show it in a very nice, you know, workspace or dashboard or however the hell this is done. So, um, yes, we'll be hopefully just finishing up this kind of step that we can see here, having a quick look at the applying for citizen developer um, catalog item a bit more before the next episode will be about submitting that particular idea and getting approval. So let's start the timer and let's kick on with looking at finishing the AES setup. So as I said, I looked in the plugins, I looked in a few different areas, looked in the docs, even asked ChatGPT if there was a way to enable this in a PDI. And the answer was no, I couldn't get it. So um, never mind, uh, we'll have to just move on from there. What I do want to do is I do want to set up a brand new user um, for our citizen developer. I don't want to set up a new group or anything um, just yet because it may well add them into a group as part of this process, this intake process. So we'll look at the outputs of that. But let's first of all, I need to ask Chuck. I want to ask Chuck for a random name for our citizen developer so we can create a brand new user profile. So, um, um, hey, can you give me a random uh, full name? Random from Emily Johnson. Lovely. Right. Emily Johnson is our random person. So let's create a new user profile for Emily. Emily Johnson. Emily Johnson. 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 Right. Um, she's a no code developer. Uh, Emily. Dot Johnson at test.com. Right, okay. That shall do for what we need. So um, I'm just going to double check roles if I just do that. Um, I will just make sure that Emily has SNC um, internal. I presume that's going to automatically appear. Okay. It's not coming up, but there you go. Um, right, so let's move on. So we have Emily Johnson here as an individual who will become our citizen uh, developer. Um, I am just going to set uh, time zones to make things a bit uh, clearer should we come across, you know, date fields and things like that. So uh, Emily Johnson. Lovely. Right, next is... I want to, if we go back to our plan, we want to just have a quick look at um, this new catalog item. So I want to have a look and see how that is set up, who it's available to, is it going to be available to Emily uh, Johnson? Um, so I'm just going to look for it first. I'm sure there's an easier way into this item. So it's called Apply for Citizen Development. Um, it's in the scope of application intake in the can we help you category of the service catalog. So we need to go to the SP catalog to be able to request this. And what else do we have as part of this? So this is the first step to empower you to develop and drive the development of your application. Okay. Do we have any flows off the back of it? 
No, so that is interesting. So where is this going afterwards? Um, and how does it know where to send it for approval? This is going to be very interesting. Um, okay, we don't really care about picture pricing or any of that information. We can see an available for and available not for is blank. So we should have this um, available on the portal if that's the case. One particular script. We know it's in the catalog and category. A few variables here for submitting a application name. General information around, um, you know, describing the idea. A few more kind of, you know, criteria to meet whether it's, you know, repeatable and, you know, all this sort of information, which presumably is going to help when it comes to approving this, even though there's no workflow or flow assigned. So we're going to find that interesting when it comes through. So maybe this is more of a uh, record producer, but um, it says catalog item. So let's let's see what happens. I guess when we when we get to it. So I guess this is where. Well, look at that. Twenty seconds left, and we still have time. But what I will do to set it up ready for the next um, video is I'm just going to go into Emily Johnson and impersonate. Go away and go to the SP portal and make sure that we can just find the item. Just make sure the zoom is good enough. Hopefully we can all see that okay. And if I go to request something to get into our catalog and can we help you? Yes, we do have a apply for citizen development. So we'll leave the video there. We've now finished this particular step in the next video we will apply for citizen development and have a look at that approval process. What happens to the flow? Where is the flow? I don't know. Maybe because I wasn't in the scope, it wasn't appearing. Hmm. Okay, let's find out.